All you need to know about the Ferrari F175. Ferrari revealed the aggressive looking F175 on Thursday with a striking red and black livery. The F175 show an extremely innovative and different design from other teams who revealed their 2022 car. The Ferrari has a very interesting side pod design very similar to the McLaren in 2011 which stands out the most. In this video, I will be discussing all the technical details of the new F175 and compare the design with the McLaren MCL36 and the Aston Martin AMR22. In 2021, Ferrari diverted its resources and efforts to 2022, so the new car should be a step forward from the last season's car. The team and the drivers call it innovative and radical design. Nose of the car Starting from the front, Ferrari has followed the trend by other teams with the nose tip sitting behind the lowest element in the front wing. However, the nose blends with the first element of the wing unlike Aston Martin or the McLaren. The distinctive duct in the nose at the front is for the driver and the drink system cooling, same as the Aston Martin AMR22. Overall, the nose is very long and narrow. Unlike the McLaren MCL36, the nose being so long, Ferrari has split it into two parts. This would be interesting of what they would do to repair it in the pit stop. Front wing The upper element of the front wing does not have as much of the upward sweep as seen on the Aston Martin. In fact, it drops down to the outer edges. The front wing end plate dive plane appears to be fairly flat compared to the show car or a complex design shown by Williams. This is where Ferrari is expected to develop further. Front Suspension The F175 features the push rod front suspension like we have seen from the Aston Martin. The front brake ducts of the F175 look to be the real one as they continue inboard of the inner plate of the front wing. It's interesting that Ferrari is not using drag reducing mirrors despite being the team who introduced it to F1 2018 with the halo introduction. Very interesting design of the wing mirror nonetheless. Side Pods The side pods of the Ferrari F175 are very interesting as they have the most radical design seen so far. Side pods are very large and flat sided but due to the undercut on the edge they seem very bulky and big. It seems like the internal layout is very different to have the side pod so flat unlike the McLaren or the Aston Martin. It could be due to the engine stacked vertically. But the most standout feature of the Ferrari is the sculpted side pods with cooling inlets on it which dips down significantly to direct the airflow towards the rear wing. The cooling inlets have a different design to the Aston Martin. The design or the operation of the cooling inlets could vary from track to track. The side pod air intakes have a different layout with a curved design. Unlike what we have seen before, the Alpha Tauri and the Aston Martin have more box shaped air intakes, totally different to the Ferrari here. The air box of the F175 seems different to the SF21 of last year. However, it retains the same external aerodynamic element on top with two side fins. It also has little elements on the halo, behind the halo, and on the roll loop too. Rear Wing The rear wing is much flatter of the F175 with Ferrari opting for twin supports. The rear suspension is pull rod layout except that the rear of the car isn't shown much in the pictures and the videos. Overall, the Ferrari looks great with dark red and black livery with some interesting features on the car like the curvy side pods and the pointy nose in the front. The Ferrari looks quite different as of now compared to the cars we have seen already. There is still much to be seen when the car runs on track. On Tuesday, 22nd Feb in Barcelona, Ferrari will do a shakedown of 100 km before the start of the pre-season testing. It's 2022 Ferrari's year. If you like the video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, until next time.